everybody and welcome to the All About Health podcast. My name is Georgia Oberbeck and I'm your host. And if you are watching this on YouTube on video, then you see that I am not alone today. And if you're listening to this, then I'll just tell you that I'm not alone today. I am joined by my sister, who is a returning guest. Hi, this is my third time now. This is Daisy. Hi guys. So last month on May 4th, we did a Vogue 73 questions Mm -hmm. podcast episode. If you haven't listened to that yet, make sure you go and listen to that one either after or before this. There's not really any certain order it has to be in. It's not a trilogy. No, it's not. (laughs) Um, And so this, is part two. We're back for part two in a new country. Yeah. So last time I think we did 33 or 34 questions. Mm -hmm. Today I have 30 for us to answer. Awesome. Before we get into our questions, I thought that we could talk a little bit about you, Daisy, just in case nobody, at least they don't know who you are. Okay. So Daisy is my younger sister by three years. Two and a half. Three. <laughs> okay. Um, and she is a social media content creator, influencer, and also works at a vegan cafe. Yes, yeah, all true. Anything else you want the people to know about you? Um, I'm 17 and George is 19, so if you know math. But I'm only 19 <laughs> for 30 more days. Okay. Uh, so now that you know a little bit about Daisy, let's get into these questions and get to know her even more. Also, if you're not following her on her social medias, do you want to just say where they can find you? TikTok is Daisy May Overbeck, and Instagram is Daisy.May underscore. Awesome. And YouTube's Daisy May. <laughs> I do love your YouTube channel. Thank Very you. Fun. Her editing is really good. <laughs> okay, so let's get into our questions for today. Starting with number one, what's your spirit animal? Okay, this one used to take me a long time to answer, but now I feel like it's either a monkey or something that flies. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like a parrot or something like that? I'm okay. not sure. A toucan? Yours is a lion, right? Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Mine is definitely a lion. I just love cats. I feel like my hair is like a mane. Mm-hmm. I have a lion tattoo. It just all really works it out all well. all connects. It does. Question number two. What's the best gift you've ever received? Well, one of the most recent ones that has just been like crazy is my camera. because. Mm-hmm. That was for my dad for Christmas, this Christmas, and I've been using it, like, all the time ever since. Like, that was, like, an unbelievable, awesome Christmas gift. And I steal it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I don't steal it. I ask She asks. And um, I would say that the best gift I ever received, I'm going to go cheesy here. Oh, no. It's the gift of life. It's our parents bringing me into the world. Bombastic side-eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then question number three is, what's the best gift that you've given? Um, I need to think on that one. I think mine was actually for Sophie a couple years ago. Actually, it was like five years ago now, and it was her stuffed animal, the elephant Topaz. Uh-huh. She, I wanted that for some reason for so long, and I got it for her, and she's brought it like everywhere we've mm-hmm. gone, like all every single hotel. That elephant has like traveled like the same amount as us. <laughs> That's true. Mine, I don't know if it's the best gift that I've ever given, but it's very memorable, is last year when we were in North Vancouver and I bought alcohol for my parents for the first time. That was really fun. I turned 19, which is the legal drinking age in Canada, and so I my parents came with me to the liquor store and they got to choose a bottle of wine and I bought it for them. Uh, Either that or after work, sometimes I would go over to the liquor store and buy a few bottles of wine and then surprise my parents with them. That Mm -hmm. was always fun because I had never been old enough to do it before that. So then now it's like, I can if I want to. (laughs) That's a good one. Question number four is what's your favorite board game? Recently, I would say Ticket to Ride. I don't know why Mm -hmm. I haven't played it in like three, two and a half years now, but I like Ticket to Ride. Clue is always a classic. True. What about you? Uh, I have really good memories of playing poker with our cousins. I don't know if that's a board game, but hey, I a game. remember playing poker, but like I don't would not know how to play it now. <laughs> like we played when we were like five. That's true. <laughs> um, I also like Sequence. I think it's called uh-huh. the one with the little coins mm-hmm. and, and the cards. I do like Sequence a lot. That's good. And Sorry. That's a yeah, one. that's true. Or sorry, I don't know how you say it. Question number five is: What's your favorite color? I've, I. Uh, Okay, my top is blue, but I always say blue, orange, and pink are my three. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I'm also going to say a few colors. I just like anything that's pastel. Like, I love... I hate pastel. Light pink, light blue, light yellow, 
light purple, like green. Like I love it all. I love neons and just like bright colors. So I don't mean neon, but just like bright. And maybe either bright or like muted. Like I like dark blue. Mm. Like a pastel now, but like a light. Dark. <laughs> I don't know. Bright blue. Love that for you. <laughs> Question number six is what's your least favorite color? Red and purple. Probably purple top, but I don't like red either. She's very passionate about that. She's always <laughs> like, I hate purple. Um, mine would maybe have to be like orange. Yeah. I don't love the look of orange on me. I don't know. I've just never been attracted to it. That's like the same as like light pink for me. Mm -hmm. Question number six, and I think we're going to agree on this one. Or so this is question number seven. Okay. Diamonds or pearls? I think you're gonna say pearls, but no. Okay, good. I would say diamonds. I'm gonna say diamonds. Okay, good. I thought you'd say pearls for some reason. I don't own any pearls Me either. other than a pair of pearl earrings. Yeah, not not a pearl girl. We used to <laughs> pearl necklaces. Yeah, uh, but we probably don't own anything diamond either. Not real no, diamond. Like fake diamonds. Fake diamonds. Fake yes. diamonds. They're great. <laughs> um, question number eight: Drugstore makeup or designer? Definitely drugstore. We only really were wearing mascara and. It's from a drugstore, so. Yeah. I would actually <laughs> say something different and be like a little boutique store or something like that. Something mm -hmm. that is more locally made. I would rather choose something like that over drugstore or designer. I don't think I don't think I've ever purchased something from Sephora. Oh my goodness, no. Well, we got a like an acne treatment there before, but that's about it. Oh right. Mm -hmm. Question number nine, blow dry or air dry your hair? Air dry. I've used a blow dryer like a few times in my life, but definitely air dry. Air dry as well. It's been nice since I cut my hair six months ago now. Um, it wow. dries so fa so much faster than when it was long. It's really nice. It's been six months. It has been. Wow. I can't believe that. Question number 10. Pilates or yoga? Mm, probably yoga. I would definitely try Pilates, but I want to. Um, I haven't really ever done it, so... But we've done yoga and it's been fun. We tried yoga for the first time six months ago. We have not tried Pilates yet. I would like to try it. I feel like there's a lot of fitness classes that I have not tried. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't tried Pilates. I'd love to try boxing. Me too. Spin. Uh, and do you do Zumba? <laughs> I don't know about Zumba. I would love to do like a dance class. I think that'd be so fun. Like a dance workout class yeah. or a dance class? Either. Either or. I would love to do that. Okay. Question number 11. Coffee or tea? Coffee. I've never liked tea. I've tried it. I don't like it. Iced tea I can maybe do sometimes, but definitely coffee. So I like both. I would have to say out of them, I would have to say coffee though, mm -hmm. because I always will have coffee. I feel like I go through phases with tea you where do. I'm like really into it for a little while and then I don't have it at all. So coffee is always there, but I do love tea every once in a while as well. I've liked coffee like for as long as I can remember. Like I've always had it. My parents just sipped it. Question number 12, and I'm excited to hear what you're going to say to this. Okay. What's the weirdest word in the English language? I'm going to have to think. I have a few, mm -hmm. and one of them that comes to mind is gulp. That's just a weird word to me. There was one that we were we heard yesterday, and we were like, that's really weird. I think, like, the name's Bert. And, <laughs> like, like, any short words like that, okay. that are, like, four letters and have a very, like, distinct, harsh, harsh yeah. ending, uh -huh. those are a little Okay. I feel like goop is a strange word. That's true. Like goop. I was also thinking along, it's kind of similar, is Google. Yeah. Google is weird. That's a word. Yeah. We say it a lot as the human race, but Google. it is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, question number 13, dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Definitely dark. I don't really love milk chocolate. I feel like dark, I just like dark. I like both of them. Uh, it's kind of a little bit hard to find like a dairy-free milk chocolate, but when I do, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it. I mean, I have before. I mean, like, if I find one, I try it, is what I'm saying here. Question number 14, stairs or elevator? Oh, up of those two, definitely stairs. Depends it what floor we're going that's to, That's true. Though. Stairs or escalator? I usually would choose escalator. Mm -hmm. I think we would walk up the escalator, but I like the fun escalator. But I don't love elevators, so. I feel like I would always go for stairs. Mm -hmm. I just, like the quad pain if there's a lot of them okay i know <laughs> very weird of me question number 15 summer or winter summer obviously i like summer as well mm -hmm. question number 16 
you are stuck on an island. Mm -hmm. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? You like acai bowls count? No, it's be um, a food. It can't be a meal. Okay, it'd either be like frozen mango or pineapple. I don't I love those things. I feel like I can never tired of it and especially if you're on an island, most likely be warm, so it'd be like cool you off and that's true. I love those things. I'm gonna have to say tofu. No, mm. actually. I'm gonna have to say Quattro Vegan Protein Powder because it's got all the protein that I need and it tastes good. Do you have water? You should hopefully have water again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have water in your deserted island. Okay, good. And then I could maybe somehow mix it and heat it up in the sun to mm -hmm. make like a baked good or something. <laughs> I could figure it out. Mm -hmm. If you're out there long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 17, what's a dessert you don't like? I feel like there's a lot of desserts I don't like. Oh, cheesecake. I've never liked cheesecake. Which is mean because I love cheesecake. She loves it. I'm trying to think. What's something that I wouldn't like? I feel like I like everything. Yeah. For me, I don't know if this counts as a dessert, but I have never really loved candy, like mm -hmm. sour candy and yeah. stuff like that. I I just have never been into it. Anything that makes me do like the pucker face, <laughs> I'm like, no, not for me. I also don't like peanut butter cookies. I know that it's weird, but yeah, it's. <laughs> Question number 18. What is a skill you're working on mastering? I feel like mine would be like editing, like YouTube mm -hmm. editing and stuff to so making the videos better, just taking, like making content, like making my content always better. Yeah. I would say for me, there's a lot of things I'm working on right now. The biggest one I feel in my life is driving mm -hmm. because Same. I have my driver's test very soon mm -hmm. and I am working on becoming a good driver to pass the test. By the time this comes out, you'll have your full license, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, next question. What's the best thing that happened to you today? It's a cute one. I finally uploaded the YouTube video that I've been working on for like multiple days. I think it's probably been like around a week actually I've been working on it. And it's finally up. Great job, thank you. I would have to say, there's a few, there's been some great things today. My mom and I went out for a morning walk today and we saw so many cute animals which always makes my day um and also i got an email from magnum mm -hmm. nutraceuticals saying that they want me to come in and create some content at hq which is always so fun and i love to do that so i have to say that those are a few things that have happened today that have been really awesome then the next question is what's the worst thing that happened to you today if you don't know yet i can answer yeah go for it so while I was out for my run today, after my morning walk with my mom, I saw this cat that I had seen last week and it came over to me and was petting me last, I was petting it last week mm -hmm. and it was so sweet. And so I saw it again and I was like, oh, maybe I'll go over and pet it again because I had to cross the street. And I went over there and I saw that it had a bunny in its mouth. Oh no. So that was kind of horrible. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah. I feel like mine, it's not really like a big deal, but my days were pretty good, so this is like the worst thing. Is like I ran out of like my frozen fruit. But we're gonna go to the store later anyway to get more. Hey, poor lady. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> Next question is what's the best compliment you've ever received? I have been told a few times, this is like, mostly just on my TikTok comments, but I still love it. A lot of people are like, you're summer as a person. Mm. Like, I love that one. I think that one's cute. I would have to say for me, I love whatever somebody says that I'm hardworking, mm -hmm. because I know that I do work hard, and I put a lot of intention between, but, or behind things that I do, and so whenever somebody recognizes that, I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Next question is, what's your favorite smell? Oh, I love coconut. Anything coconut, uh, like coconut, vanilla, but then also there's like this specific smell that I love so much that I can never find. It's like a... Is it the one that smells like Hawaii? Yes, exactly. It smells like the Moana Surfrider Hotel. I don't know. It's kind of like a woodsy... I don't even know. It's just an amazing smell. Mm. Because it kind of smells like a hotel. Mm. Hawaii hotel? There are so many good scents and smells out there. Like the one when you said it smells like a hotel, I was like, when it smells like pool. Like that's not one of my favorites, yeah. but that's a good smell. It's nostalgic. One of my favorite scents would have to be, 
I love the smell of clean laundry mm -hmm. or like when your sheets are fresh on your bed, like when they smell like that. Or when you've had your windows open all day and you get like the smell of nature and fresh air so in your fresh. room. Yeah, it's a great one. When we were in Hawaii, I was doing a deep clean of my room one Sunday and I had all four of my windows wide open mm -hmm. and it was just blowing into the into my room, all the wind and outdoor smells. It's a great one. And my uh, curtains were blowing in the wind and it was just so nice. Mm -hmm. I really love that. Question number 23, if you made a documentary, what would it be about? I would make a documentary about our life, mm -hmm. maybe about my mom's life specifically, because she's just done so much. Yeah, I think it'd be like a whole family type of thing, documentary. Yeah. We'd probably make it together, really. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Question number 24, what's the last thing that made you cry? Mine was the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yes, me too. The new one with Rocket and the baby Rocket yes. and Lila. It was Lila and Rocket for some reason. That Sorry if this is a um, spoiler. Not really. We won't say any specific detail. No, but yeah, there were some parts in that movie. Just Rocket and baby raccoons <laughs> made me cry. Question number 25. Lipstick or lip gloss? Oh, I hate both of it so much. I'm going to say lip balm. Yes. I like lip balm. I Chapstick. hate lip gloss when it like gets stuck, your hair gets stuck in it. That's the yeah. worst. I don't like the feeling. No, I don't wear either of them. Number 26, sweet or savory? Mmm, I feel like I prefer sweet more, mm. I think. I think it's sweet. This is hard. I love both. Um, right now, savory, but it changes all the time. Question number 27, what's a song you can listen to on repeat? Anything by ABBA, like mm, any true. of the whole Mamma Mia playlists, all of it. I agree with that. Also Disney music, anytime I put on a Disney playlist, I can listen to it it's forever. It's so fun when you know like every single word. Yeah, I agree. Next question, what are you most excited for at this time in your life? Where are you going to our first concert? We're going to see um, a band called Abra, Abra Cadaver or something like that. It's this it's like an Abba tribute band, and we're going to see them in like two weeks. And that's so two weeks exactly. Yes, that's gonna be really fun. If you can't tell, we're very big <laughs> Abba and Mamma Mia fans, and so we're really excited to sing our hearts out oh at this concert. Uh, for me, I'm excited for so much. I'm really excited to get my driver's license. Uh, I'm really excited to continue growing my social medias and mm -hmm. being more creative with it. I'm excited for the warm weather and for farmers markets and just shooting with Magnum. summer activities. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Shooting with Magnum, working at the Magnum gym. There's just so much excited, exciting things coming. Mm -hmm. And then our last question for our Vogue interview. What's your go-to for having a good laugh? Oh, that's a good one. I feel like... There's always, our laughing, like when we all five of us laugh together, it's always over something like so random, most of the time not even that funny. I feel like it's usually like True. an inside joke Yeah. that just like we all die laughing about. I would say for me, if I really want to have a good laugh or just something that will make me feel good, I'll go on TikTok and search for cats hmm. or lions or something or like funny animals. I feel like they just... They just take my mind off of anything. If I wanted to have a good laugh, I feel like I couldn't just like find it. Like it happens mm -hmm. just like so like randomly, I feel. Well, yeah, but if you want to have a good laugh, you can't force it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I guess like, but yeah, in our family situations, we also have some really good funny moments together as well. And with that, we're going to end off this episode here. Thank you so much for watching or for listening. Um, thank you for being on, Daisy, again. Thanks for, for part having me again. You'll probably never be back, though. Never. Yeah, that's is, that's is it. <laughs> Just kidding. She'll be back on. Thank you for watching and listening again, and I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And maybe you can answer these questions, too, if you want, by commenting or messaging us and letting us know your answers. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I hope to see you in the next episode.